Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I am going to show you how you can add table and column description in Power BI reports inside the new Timsel view. So as you can see this table returns, if we hover over it, in the tooltip what all data it is showing. It is showing the name as returns, storage mode as import, data refreshed as the timestamp. To add a description for this table, first of all we will pull this return to this Timdle view. So if you don't have this Timdle view in your Power BI report, you can enable this from the preview features in the latest Power BI desktop. So now if we want to uh, make any changes in any table, so suppose I want to add description for this table returns, we can directly pull this returns into this Timdle view and it will create a new script for that you see here we have this script for returns table now to add a table description above this table return we can add we can add three slash and we can write whatever description we want to write for this table so I'm going to write this table has data for the return orders now if I hover over it we cannot see this description yet so to see this description we'll have to apply it first so if I click on apply now it's saying changes apply to the model now if we go to returns again see now we have four rows and in the last row we can see the description so this is how we can add description for the tables now again if i want to add a description for columns inside this returns it has two columns order id and return so to add the description for the columns uh, it follows the same rule we'll have to add description above the column so for order id we'll add slash three slash and then say this is a unique order key and for the returned column i'm going to say this is a flag for returned orders now if i click on apply again and hover over the order id it will show the description as well and for returned it is showing this is a flag for returned orders so this is how we can add description for the tables and columns inside the data model and if you also want to add description for uh, the measures let's try to add description for the measure so i'll go to any measure let's say i'm going to this matrix and uh, this return orders so i'm going to pull this here and for this measure i'm going to say uh, this measure gives unique count of return orders if i click on apply and now if i hover over the return orders see it can add description to the measure as well so this is how we add description for table column and measure in the Timtel view in power bi i hope you like this video and have learned something new from this video and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.